Hey everybody, welcome back to Projects with Paul. Uh, I got a few new, a few, a couple new implements. I guess you could say a few. I got a few new implements for my tractor uh, that were given to me by a good friend. So I just want to share that with you. And here's what we got. Two bush hogs and a disc plow. I mean, I guess that's what you call it. I've never used one, but... Trying to get out of the sun here. Yeah, that thing's almost six foot wide. Those discs are huge. <clears throat> and a five foot bush hog brand. And a five foot Heiko brand. He just wanted this stuff out of his yard. He doesn't use them anymore, and he was going to let someone scrap them out. I said I would take them and see what I could do with them. So let's take a closer look. Okay, this is another uh, five foot brush cutter that he gave me. This is a Heiko. Um, it's had some work done to it. Uh, a buddy of mine at work, he welded up these plates and brackets to beef up the gearbox. I guess it was given to the hunting club and they fixed it up and used it on the hunting club. And when that went away, he just brought it home. And this one's in pretty good shape underneath. The stump jumper is in good shape. The blades are in good shape. It's, I would say, pretty much ready to use. It's got a new tail wheel on it. It's got a few cracks here and there. Uh, stuff like that. I'm going to weld that up, clean it up, and weld it. But other than that, it's pretty much ready to use. It spins really free. This one does not have a slip clutch. It's a straight shot there. Two-piece uh, square drive shaft. Have to see what that's all about. Up a little bit. That's good. Okay, so this is the Bush Hog brand brush cutter uh, that he gave me. <clears throat> uh, we know it's going to need a, a new stump jumper. The blades don't look too bad. I can sharpen them up a little bit, but they're not worn too terrible. Uh, stump jumpers rusted all the pieces, but this thing spins really good. Got a few, uh, few small cracks or rust holes. I can get some plate and clean those up and patch them up. <clears throat> but uh, this one, I believe that's. I'm not real sure, but I think that's a slip clutch. Maybe. Have to check into that a little more. I believe that's what that is. Got some pitting on it, but I guess that's pretty normal for something that's been sitting outside for a long time. <clears throat> it's pretty thick metal, so 
and it's got the access hole there. Big stout. Uh, looks like adjustable tail wheel. So yeah, not bad for free, huh? Let's see if I can't get a new stump jumper on order for that sucker. I think it's worth repairing. Take a look at this sucker. This is the plow that he gave me. I guess you call it a disc plow or I'm not really sure, but it is beefy. It's uh, almost six feet wide. The trailer's six feet inside. And these discs, they're mm, 20 inches or so in diameter and they spin nice and free. A huge axle on it. It's heavy. Make great ballast, I guess. So we'll get that off the trailer and set it in the backyard. Have to see how how easy it hooks up. Doesn't look like it'd be very uh, compatible to a quick hitch with the way these arms are in front of the mounting pins have to see how that works but yeah not bad for free he was gonna scrap them out and I said I would take them and use them hopefully my little tractor can pull this big old thing we'll have to see take it down on the property and run it around all right I got this plow off the trailer look how nice this thing turns it's got grease fittings on the axles there uh -huh. looks like it's pretty adjustable yeah it just been sitting for years just spins nice and free I did squirt a little bit of oil on it but I haven't greased it yet I'm just impressed how nice it turns just by hand well you get that thing in the dirt that'll tear some dirt up all right guys so now that you've seen both of these let me know what you think which one I should keep kind of leaning towards the bush hog uh, it has that slip clutch drive shaft on there but that could probably be put on this one without any problem I do have to replace the stump jumper on this one uh, as you've seen earlier uh, but other than that they're both in decent shape a uh, few little rust spots and cracks that I need to address but nothing major nothing I can't handle but yeah I'm really excited to have them have to see what that's all about that uh, three-point hookups a lot higher than this one is it may not matter I don't know so anyway let me know what you think thanks again for watching projects with Paul see you next time bye